Scientists were quick to call 3i Atlas a comet. This object is in fact a comet. But a Harvard astrophysicist isn't fully convinced. It's also possible that this object was of artificial origin. He wonders if it's an artificial object aimed at us. Why would he think so? 3i Atlas was discovered on July 1st by the NASA-funded Atlas Survey, discovered using their uh, telescope at Rio Hurtado in Chile. As 3i Atlas traveled, astronomers watched closely. Suddenly they noticed something very strange. 3i appeared to have a very eccentric path, not like when people in Colorado follow their spiritual calling. 3i's path is in a perfect circle. It's an oval-shaped orbit. On the contrary, Earth's path is almost perfectly circular. The thing is, an eccentric path isn't just bizarre. It may mean many things, but only two alarmed scientists the most. First, 3i may be interstellar, originating from a different solar system, maybe one with life, maybe even intelligent life, capable of sending 3i Atlas. Second, unfortunately for us, 3i may hit Earth at a speed that won't allow us to do anything about it. We're just bracing ourselves to get as much information as possible. What they found flipped, and I'm telling you flipped, an entire community of global space watchers from professional to amateurs. Some were even left thinking if 3i is actually artificial. We know it came from outside the solar system. Right now it's inside uh, the orbit of Jupiter and it's headed for its closest pass to the sun at the end of October. It's moving at a velocity of about 135,000 miles per hour, so it's going really fast. This is really exceptional. You have to be an interstellar object to be going that fast at that distance from the sun. Interstellar 3i Atlas immediately became a super rare chance for us to study an interstellar object. We could potentially learn if life's recipe is coming in the galaxy. So indeed, we are very lucky that we discovered this object because it is such a rare event, only third ever in our history to be detected. Astronomers also found it's moving so freaking fast. We cannot catch it. We can't intercept it. If it's heading to planet Earth, we're Good news for Earth, 31 Atlas is not coming anywhere near us. This is the trajectory right here. From images, we also saw that this object is active, which means that around the nucleus there is some coma, which is an indication that this object is in fact a comet. But if scientists aren't so sure 3i Atlas is a comet, which I'd love to get your opinion on that, why is there a scientist, an astrophysicist, very seasoned, very brilliant, saying, hey, you know what? It's also possible that this object was of artificial origin. That scientist is Dr. Avi Loeb, professor of science at Harvard. He's also the founder of the Galileo Project, which searches for alien technology near Earth, including UFOs or UAPs. While others saw a harmless comet, Loeb saw red flags, he writes. The spectrum showed extreme reddening, more than most comets, and no signs of gas, just dust. To him, the data doesn't quite add up. He says it's too bright, too big, too fast to be just a comet. He writes, It's difficult to imagine a natural process that would favor a plunge towards the inner solar system at 60 kilometers per second. By the way, that's about 134,000 miles per hour. Very fast. Dr. Loeb also thinks 3i appears to have no visible rotation, no change in brightness, very weird, a suspiciously smooth, possibly solid body, a body that is estimated at 10 to 20 kilometers or 6 to 12 miles across. Right now, it's hard to say how big this object is because being active, the brightness that we see is partially due to the size of the object, but also uh, is partially due to the activity. And so we cannot really pinpoint the nucleus uh, size directly. We have to better understand how active this object is, and then we can, uh, we can refine the size estimate and get a good idea. Dr. Loeb agrees with NASA. But he's not an arrogant punk who thinks he knows it all, so he leaves space for speculations, for essential questions. 
He writes, if indeed 3i Atlas is about 20 kilometers in diameter, then the supply rate of such objects must be small. He goes on, the alternative is that the object targets the inner solar system by a technological design. He's pretty much saying, you know, 3i Atlas may indeed be a very unique, rare comet, or it could be an artificial object sent on purpose. And if that's where you are, if that's the possibility you're considering the most right now, you're not alone, friend. Some people already think that the reason why 3i Atlas is passing behind our sun is to purposely hide from our telescopes. And yes, 3i will actually pass behind the sun, hiding from our telescopes. However, this object is in fact a comet. But not just any comet. Scientists at Oxford just found that it came from a much older, far off part of the galaxy called the thick disk. It means 3i may reveal secrets from a place we've never studied up close, and it's flying straight through just once, as in, we may never see one like this again. What do you think? Is it an incredible, never seen before, super unique comet? Or is it a very sneaky mother ship? In the meantime, don't let the fun end and please check out this case. It really needs your, actually, I'm the one who really needs your help with it. So please check it out. Thank you so much for existing and I can't wait to see you soon.